Hi everyone, it's Dokunu and I've noticed that many people wanted to try Lance but didn't know how to start and how to play it. So in this video I wanted to teach you in like 5 minutes how to play Lance and feel the pleasure to parry a monster and kill it just after. Are you ready? Ok, let's go. I will show you a hunt against a Rathian. I think it's a pretty interesting monster to train and learn your weapon. And I'm not a huge fan of theory and practicing in a training area. I prefer to learn on the field during a hunt. Ok, and now that you're ready to start, pick a lens. Pick these switch keys. I think they are the easiest to start. And then if you want even more comfort, you craft the Bazaios Von Braces. That will give you 3 points in guard skill. It will be very very useful. Especially when you start. And even after. <laughs> so pick them or craft three guard uh, decorations and slot it on your armor. Okay, we can go. With this set you will mainly use the ZR plus A counter that is pretty easy to use and does not require a strict timing. And then you can poke with X or A. A are vertical thrusts and X are horizontal thrusts. The A thrusts do a little bit more damage and you should also note that the third poke will do more damage than the first two. After 3 pokes, you can sidestep or do again a counter. You can do a counter between any of your pokes or sidestep between any of your pokes. Next, we'll see the Anchor Rage that is performed with ZL plus A and cost 1 wire bug. It will buff your attack power depending on the attack that you receive. The color of your lens will change depending on the strength of the attack. It will go from red to orange to yellow. Yellow is the strongest buff that you can get, so make sure to note what are the strongest attacks the monster will throw at you and use Anchorage at the right time. So the next interesting switch skills are Shield Charge, that is performed with ZR plus X plus A. You will charge forward with the shield, causing impact damage that can stun, and if you press X again at the end, you will do a final shield blow. And if you press A, you will do a thrust. Shield Dash, that is added in Sunbreak, performed with ZR plus X, is even better than the basic counter with ZR plus A. You will move toward direction, defending yourself and dealing a shield blow at the same time. So you can protect against weak attacks. And you can do this after almost anything, even 3 pokes, so you can cancel the lag and hit even faster. When you have big openings like that, you can use a charge sweep. Hold X and A and release after a bit. Remember, you have 3 pokes and the sweep counts as 1, so you can do poke, sweep, poke, or sweep, poke, sweep, or sweep, shield dash, sweep, shield dash. Try and find your favorite combination. Now about the ZL plus X skill, Twin Van is useless, so use Shading Retreat. You have some iframes at the startup, it allows you to retreat when it's chaos, or avoid unblockable moves like Rajang's Beam, so yeah, use it. Now, if you feel more confident and you want to level up your lance skills, I will show you the Insta Block, the Spiral Thrust, and also the Iron Thrust. They are the most rewarding switch skills, and when you test it, you will love it. I promise. The Insta Block is pretty simple. You just press ZR at the right time, and then you press X to do the Cross Slash, a high damage attack. You can also do just insta block, nothing after, for example here. But if you press too soon the button, you will do a normal guard that will give you nothing. <laughs> Sorry. Now let's talk about the famous pyro thrust. So you press Z plus A, you will rush forward. You can then input a second direction and then press X if you want to deal a final blow. You can do it behind you as well. The strength of this skill is that if you do it at the right time, when an attack hits you, you will parry it and get a blue aura that increases your attack. So this is very important to deal massive damage. IR Thrust added in Sunbreak is performed as usual with Z plus A. It has pretty niche uses but can be very strong against some tall monsters like Ibushi or Valstrax wings. Try to use it sometimes and I'm sure you will love it. Ok, now I know that you love Lens. And I'm not surprised because it's the best weapon in the game. So now you want to make some great armor sets to help you? Well, if you are in the beginning of Sunbreak, I recommend you the Baroth armor. It gives you enough guard level to play easily. If you are in the end game, I will show you my sets that I use. 
So here is my, is my comfortable set with Andy Craft. You can use almost any lens with it and jam some elemental uh, decorations. I also use offensive guard. If you have uh, a great talisman to use it, it buffs your attack by 15% if you guard at the right time. And it combines with spiral thrust and insta block and anchorage, so very, very useful. I also use the optimal hardcore set with dereliction. You have to be very careful with this one or heal a lot, or you can just play with one HP and enjoy Dongo Adrenaline. But be careful with this one. <laughs> I also use a fun vampire set using Malzino armor. You just poke, poke, counter, and heal yourself by eating the monster. You never shift your lance. We don't have time for that, you know? And that's it. I hope you liked the video. I try to be as short as possible, as precise as possible as well. And I hope you liked it. So tell me what should I improve. If you have any questions, I'm here to help and I just want everyone to enjoy the lunch like I am. Peace.